I believe that uh, photonics is going to be a very crucial enabling technology. We all see that there are exponential growth curves. That's great. However, we have to facilitate that with products. We have to facilitate that with building blocks. And in order to facilitate that, we need to think at least 10 years ahead. Because we cannot fulfill the current needs. We have to do R&D on that. Therefore, you have to have roadmaps. The way that AI and artificial intelligence works today and uh, the way it has to work tomorrow is fundamentally different. Photonics is an instantaneous technology. I mean, it functions at the speed of light. And because it functions at the speed of light, we are in the process of beginning the change of the basic computing infrastructure to be able to make faster decisions and many, many more computations, but we have to use light to do this. Well, the term road mapping, I believe, is extremely important. It really helps you figure out where you want to invest your precious euros and dollars into new technologies. Road mapping, if it's done on a non-competitive basis. Now, yes, if you go into any product company, they'll have their own product roadmap, which is proprietary and they'll show their customers, which will indicate to their customers where they're taking their detailed products. But at a higher level, you'd like to find out on a non-competitive level where the technology is going over the next decade or two decades. If we in the West want to be able to compete or keep up or collaborate with China, we have to think long term. They have five-year plans, 15-year plans, 50-year plans, all in technology. They're trying to forecast all of this, and then they channel tremendous resources behind those plans. This is one of the things that made America great within technology. They had an organization called DARPA um, and uh, ERPA. And many of these technologies that we are now at are now standard came out or were funded by such technologies. The search engine, the relational database, you mentioned Siri and Alexa, all of that came out of very strategic long-term planning by DARPA and other institutions here in the United States. Unfortunately, we have now here in the West become very focused purely on applied research. But, but fundamental research still has a place and unless we start investing in these things and are able to take a leading position in these things, we in the West will end up being manufacturers. So everybody benefits from a higher level technology roadmap exercise. I certainly led these types of workshops at OIDA in the 2005 to 2010 timeframe when I ran OIDA. But 10 years previous to that, when I was at Motorola and Intel, and companies like Tyco, I participated in those roadmap workshops only to see the benefits of all the experts coming together to say, you know, this, this is where the technology is going to be in 10 years' time. These are the metrics we really need to um, achieve. And one example might be in, for example, data centers. Data centers are a good vehicle for photonic integrated circuits, PICs. And data center folks have been saying they want their technology of PICs to achieve a dollar per gigabit at 400 gigabits per second for a two kilometer fiber optic link. So let's sort of simplify that a second. If you've got a fiber optic link connecting, let's call it two switches in a data center, then these folks really all they want to pay is $200 for a transceiver at each end, dollar per gigabit. 400 gigabits per second, that's $400 for the link. What that does, if you put that into a roadmap scenario and bring the experts together, then you ask the question, how do you make the technology work from a very high level? What things need to be done in order to achieve these types of metrics to keep the customer happy? And it may well be you hit a red brick wall and you may not be able to achieve that. But in doing so, you actually uncover a lot of interesting challenges and you probably could get pretty close. And the customer would say, you know, that's close enough, let's go with it. It generates ideas, it's also inspiring. So what could be possible with this technology? And how could it help our business? So it's a neat, it's conceptual, but it's also inspiring. And 
last but not least, what it also does, it links the development community, it links R&D to the corporate community.